Oh, hells yeah. It's time for some Wolong. This is the game where I'm going to be dying repeatedly, failing repeatedly, and hopefully entertaining you repeatedly. Before we begin, I would like to thank each and every one of you that watches the channel, that continues to support the channel, because without you, I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to get access to games a little bit early so that I could record them, provide you guys with content. Hopefully, I'll be able to do a couple of guides along the way. So, really, thank you guys for continuing to support me over the years and for watching the videos and all that stuff. If you guys think you're going to enjoy this, also remember, at the end of the video, like button, subscribe, bell notification icon, all that stuff. Also, this game was obviously sent to me by Koei Tecmo so that I could tell you guys my opinions on it, you know, do content, do all that good stuff. So thank you, Koei Tecmo, for giving me a code of the game. And also a special shout out to my good friend Fightin' Cowboy for hooking me up with the contact to, um, you know, to be able to talk to the Koei Tecmo team to be able to get access to this. So anyways, let's begin. All disclaimers are out of the way, I feel like. So, the reason why I continue is here is because I already created my character so that we wouldn't have to go through the character creation process. All you gotta know is that it is a very detailed character creator. You're gonna be able to do whatever dude you wanna do, alright? Let's go. Elixir, the secret of the eternal path, a prize sought by the sovereigns of old. Among them was the first emperor of the Qin, who lusted for immortality. The result of his quest to obtain the forbidden medicine was a catastrophe. The elixir's power proved overwhelming. And in the years following the dynasty's demise, it continued to exert a shadowy influence on conflicts and political machinations. Many moons pass, and the Han Empire faces its final days. In these dark times, Elixir once again threatens to become the catalyst that awakens the dragons lying dormant across our land. Dragons. Ah! Uh. Damn, that's a big beat stick. <clears throat> I like those Chinese swords for some reason. There's something about the Chinese swords that I really dig. Crap, this first person view. Is this me? Did I just get stabbed? Uh oh. That's not good. But I have a talisman, because I am the chosen one. Thank you for saving me. I'm glad you've recovered from your injuries. What is this? I found you. He bears the eternal elixir field. Okay. So this is the character creator. Uh, this doesn't really matter whatever we pick. Uh, we're gonna go type one, sure. 
Uh, how do I... Aha, save additional features, save load. Apply appearance. These character creation settings will apply. They wish to proceed. Yes. This is what my dude looks like. Right here. Some of you will know why I always paint my hair orange and my beard orange. Those of you who don't, well, stick around the channel and eventually you might learn. You're about to leave character creation. You wish to proceed. You can change your appearance later in the game. Yes. Oh, I guess I don't get to pick a name. You nasty old man. As long as we have you, victory is still possible. Consider that a talisman of protection. Very well. It may just save your life one day. I cannot allow this travesty to continue. Let us depart. That's a fine looking sword you got there. I feel like my character might be a little too thick. Yeah, he's a thick boy. Oh, do I have the Chinese sword? Sweet. Sure it will prove useful. Dragon's cure pot. From chi. With it, you can heal most wounds. Okay. Ooh, our... W I, I don't remember the controls for this at all. It's been a long time since I've played the demo. How do you run? Okay, this jumps. Okay, you press down on L3. Very well. No tutorial, no nothing. Just like I like it. That's what I'm talking about. Square is just basic attack. Alright. Looks good. Looks like there's an item over here. Loot R2. Way. I think we'll be able to pass through this Perhaps way. Perhaps if we can climb past that watchtower. Aha! Let me guess. I'm gonna need to use a bow or something. Oh, that's a big jump. We can jump big time here. All right. All right. I kind of feel like I'm supposed to use a bow or something. Hey buddy, I'm lost here. Can you, uh, cut me some slack? Oh, we can break these boxes, so there's that. Maybe I can- can I bust through the door? No, you can't bust through the door. Wait, there's like, uh... Okay, that's not what we want to do. Wait, you can do double jump? No, it's like a mid-air dodge or something. The world is on the precipice of drastic change. I can feel it. Oh, there's a dude over here. Normal attacks are fast and can easily increase your spirit. Spirit attacks slow. Okay, so I was actually supposed to come over here. I was right in trusting you. I should have read that a little bit better, to be honest. Can we crouch? No. But I think you can sneak, right? Because I remember sneak. Whoop! Never mind. Apparently, I can't. Oh man, I am rusty big time. I'm already failing, already needing to heal. That's not good. Whoa! Okay. We bust this. Deflect. 
Jesus, these are some lengthy tutorials. Oh, right before receiving an enemy attack, dodge quickly. Okay. Using circle will allow you to redirect your enemy's attack. Timing this action to meet the enemy attack not only allows you to redirect the attack, it also lowers the enemy's spirit. Shrink the lower end of the enemy's spirit gauge. At the same time, will increase your own spirit gauge. Press circle twice to dodge and put some distance between you and your enemy. Okay, so you want to basically dodge at the very last second. Okay, buddy, come get it. There we go. Dude, I'm playing like complete crap right now. Because I don't remember any of this. But okay, we got the the time dodge there. These guys, you know, they're pretty basic though. So there's that. Let's go through. We got an item up there. Shortcut. For our inevitable demise. Damn, you can move really fast. Uh oh. Not too shabby. Yeah, this is pretty barbaric. The game's running really well so far, though. Super smooth and pretty good visuals. Then again, the demo is running pretty smooth, too, if I remember correctly. Oh, that guy's level 4. I don't suppose we have, like, one of those uh, flag things that increases our... Nope. Alright, let's have at it. Deflect against an enemy's critical blow. Oh, damn. Cannot be blocked with guard. Taking damage from critical blow will lower your morale rank by one. If you direct an enemy's critical blow, the power of the deflect increases. Can significantly break the enemy's stance. Recover your negative spirit. But I haven't practiced it enough. Yep, that's gonna suck. Oh, my God. Gotcha. We lost morale, though. You suffer from political corruption and natural disasters. Yet, they have deteriorated into mere bandits that prey on others who are also weak. What if you could change them to this extent, I wonder? Okay, let me go ahead and grab this. I suppose we can open any of these. Genuine key fragment. I believe these are going to be like hard souls. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? You okay? He's scared. He's scared. Ooh, turban guard. Uh, check or change equipment. I'll take that. Nice. Okay, I guess we don't have any of the other things. Oh, they're new weapons? Polearm Putao. No, but I want the saber. Will this increase my weight? Where do I even see the weight? Uh, if I do this... I can't really see weight. I don't know if this one affects it or not. Eesh. Equipment weight, 17.1. How do I remove this? Uh, remove? 17.1. Okay, so no, it doesn't. Yeah, we should be good still. How do I change this circle? Okay, gotta be careful with those swapping attacks, though. That's not how you're supposed to actually change the weapon. There's gotta be a different way of doing it. No, I guess not. There has to be. There's no way there isn't. I just don't know what the button is right now. Whatever. 
After resting at a battle flag, your HP and use of Dragon Cure Pot will be restored. Yellow Turban's Bandit's Note. Okay, let's go ahead and rest. Yush! Level up! Uh, do we level up? Oh, damn, I don't know which one of these I'm gonna be doing. Max HP and the amount of spirit lost when attacked. Oh, uh, yeah. Affects the amount of spirit gained when attacking and the amount of spirit consumed by martial arts. Next equipment weight limit and the amount of spirit gained when deflecting an attack. Next duration of a high level spirit can be maintained for and spirit consumed by wizardry spells. Next how easily enemies can detect you and the amount of spirit consumed when deflecting. I think I'm going to go for this. I remember that this one used to be... Because I think that this one is what swords uh, level up by, right? Let me just very quickly check here. Yep, these swords tend- Oh, they also level up D with, uh, with magic. This one also increases your HP, so that's good. So yeah, we'll level this one up for now. We're gonna go wood. Tilt slightly fatal strike from the rear or from above from enemies that are away from you. Yep. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what it's all about, team. Yes, indeed. There is a battle flag thing here, right? Marking flag will increase your fortitude rank as well as restore HP and all status effects. Noise. Ah, uh, there's some stuff back here. We shall have to find another way around. Okay, so there's this pathway. Wait, this is the direction we're supposed to be going because it's marked in the map. Oh crap! I just realized you guys can't see the map. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going to be able to put it. So maybe top left will work. I'll see if uh, I'll see if we need to change it later. For now we'll do top left. Although that does mean that I'm gonna be looking. Ah, this is so annoying. Give me a second. We're we're doing it live, team. We are doing it live. There we go. That'll do. Okay, I'm gonna go up here. Loot this. Homeboy hasn't seen me yet. Oh crap, he jumped down and I thought he was an enemy. I was like, what the hell? Oh, nice. There's another one here. Sweet. So juicy, sweet. And there's another flag here. Oh crap. Whoa, 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 what the hell? Where'd he come from? Jesus, that guy was no joke. Beat the crap out of me. I thought I was about to buy it right there. Your HP, your HP flows very quickly. Ooh, another one. What am I even looking for? Something tells me that I'm about to find something I'm not gonna like. Let's run. I'm not fighting that. There's too many of them. Well, I guess you're fighting it. Oh crap, this one's level 6 too. 
Whoa, that was a long leap right there, buddy. What the hell? That was not very nice of you. Sure thing. Okay, so there's two of them in there. This makes me question whether or not the other path was actually the way forward. Was I mean, this is probably the way forward, which means the other path that we left behind uh, is probably just like extra. Okay, we have to go through here. I know that I play these games in very strange ways. Oh, what the hell is that? As a big boy. That thing is gonna mess us up something fierce. Can we sneak up on it, maybe? Ah, it's not a good idea. That thing's level 15. We'll come back here later. We need to get some more morale and then we'll come back. Oh, it's not level 15. It has 15 morale. That thing will probably tear us to shreds because I still don't have a lot of, like, um, whatchamacallit, muscle memory with the combat system. Really develop that muscle memory. Damn, these boys are pretty high level too. Alright. Do I need a heal already? Probably should think about it. Yellow turban, bandit, bandana. Let's go for it. We got nothing on our head, so why not? Uh, yellow turban bandit footwear. Less defense, but it gives me more wood, I think, right? Hey, I'm one of you. I'm this I should be disguised now. Martial arts. Unleash powerful martial art that can pierce an enemy's guard by consuming spirit. Can I perform martial arts when spirit gauges decreases the lower limit? Type of martial arts depending on the weapon used. Only rare weapons have two kinds of martial arts. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna heal once before we do this. Hey, buddy. You're good, kid. You are destined for great things. Okay, we shall take the high road. Murder this guy. There's an archer over there. That archer is going to be a problem. The other guy detected me, I think. Okay, dude. Plop this sucker down. Marking flag. That's not a battle flag. This one's just for morale. We currently have... Well, not morale, fortitude, whatever. We currently have seven fortitude. Fortitude as that guy has. Ooh, nine. And he's got a pretty little icon on top of his head. I can't sneak up on him. We just gotta beat his ass. Okay, sucker. Ready for this? You can take the enemy's battle flag. Okay. Come and get it then. That was fast. Oh, 
I totally meant to do that, 100%. I totally didn't just, like, completely dodge spam. <laughs> so, no, 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 I, I swear. It was all intended. It was all part of the plan. Easy. Let's get this. Battle flag raised. Uh, we are currently four to two ten. Wondering if I should go back for the beast. Great danger ahead. Do be careful. Great danger. I kind of didn't want it to go back through the the enemies. Can we drop here, by the way? Now oh, this looks like a death drop. Uh, let's go ahead and rest here. It's clearly intended for us to rest here. Uh, level up. I'm gonna go for a couple of more wood levels. Wizardry spells. Wood phase spells. Heaven's Rage calls down bolts of lightning to strike in front of you. Perfect Restoral grants you a nearby ally as a positive effect, completing the gates and enemies attack once. Nice. Uh, select. I mean, I can't really do anything, right? What do I need? Do I need... What kind of currency is this? I mean, I think I'd rather have Barb Nightmare, Lightning Rush... I thought this one had, like, the heal. Maybe that one was too overpowered? Earth phase spells. Fiend Vanquisher. Charge forward. Boulder Knuckles. Stone allows it to perform a frontal jab. Lion's Roar. Shockwave. Lujunary Shell. Visible shield rounds absorb a certain amount of damage. Oh, that's actually good too, dude. Metal phase spells, thorn shot, venom snare. Okay. Okay. Water phase spells, uh, aqua blink, ooh, teleports. Venom icicle, ominous chill. I kind of like fire though. Overpower burst, engulfing inferno. We're going to stick it with wood because I think wood's going to be good. I think wood's gonna be what we end up like. What is- Oh wait, this is where you begin. This is where you end. I'm an idiot. Uh, unstoppable force. Increases automatic recovery during low spirit. Decreases automatic depletion during high spirit. Lightning bolt. Spirit fervor. Grants your neuralized positive effect. Increases spirit gain when attacking. Accumulation divine beast gauge for a certain amount of time. Barbed conductor. Absorb by vitality. You and your biologists can sort of repeat them. Ooh, lifesteal. Yes. Fortunately, we have to start with this, but that's fine. Okay, so if I now do set wizardry spells, I want to put it the square. Lightning bolt. Oh. What the hell? I just got a bunch of gear. Uh, so it's our two plus, okay. I'm sure a person of your caliber shall have little difficulty mastering wizardry spells. Yeah, I agree. I am indeed very good. Uh, are the enemies respawning? I'm assuming they do, right? That means that now we move forward. Ooh, that's a boss fight. Okay. So, we're actually gonna try going back. I mean, I've spent everything. So I'm gonna try and run for it. Very curious to see how this is gonna go down. Too fast, y'all can't catch me. This'll go down great, I'm sure. Nothing bad can come from this. Oh, you can just straight up rest here as well. How oh, very convenient. I didn't realize this one was a battle flag.
Okay, we got to bypass everything. Let's see if we can sneak up. Slowly. Oh, I can't do it on this creature. That sucks. Yes, I can. But I didn't! Because that would make things too easy, clearly. Well, at least we have our buddy there to tank for us. Oh, he broke me. Like, I thought I was dead. And then I was dead. Crushing defeat. Do we lose below 10? I don't think we do, because, like... Yeah, this is perfect. This is actually perfect. Doesn't look like we can go below 10, so... Yeah, that solves that problem. I want to try it again. Avenger complete. Oh, he jumped into the fire! Idiot! <laughs> he jumped into the fire! I was like, wait, wait, wait what? <laughs> okay. That's cool. Uh, so we got something. Uh, oh, an accessory. Belt hook. It gives us five earth, I think. HP plus 18 as well. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, oh, yeah, this is the stuff that we just got. Damn. Should I even equip this? I feel like that'd be unfair. We're not going to equip it for now. Looks like it might be DLC stuff. Wait, that's it? There's nothing else here? So I did this just for the creature. Well, I guess it makes sense. We did get like a, a talisman or whatever. But yeah, I had to do it. You guys know me. It's just that simple. It just needed to happen. I guess there's nothing else left. We're gonna run back to where we were. We'll rest at the, um, at the next spot. Dude, they didn't even see me! I went so friggin' fast! Look at this! Zoom, zoom! Wait, there's loot here. Oi! Bro, oh, relax. Listen, I'm coming through. Places to go, people to see. So now I rest here. And we are golden. Uh, we can't level up, so it's whatever. Battle preparation... What's this? Set Divine Beast? Battle Flag Customization? <clears throat> I think that's mostly going to be a visual thing, so we might do some of that later. Maybe even off camera, who knows? Okay, now we're going to get a boss fight here, and something tells me that we're probably going to be made to lose. No, because we kind of died already. Maybe it's going to kill our friend. I think somebody's dying here. 
dogs of the Han court, are you? That's a big boy. <laughs> Any who oppose us shall know only the end of our blades. Damn. <clears throat> <laughs> You'll be begging me to spare you. Yeah, this was the guy that we fought in the demo. Stop, bro. Good job, bro. He's delaying his attacks now. Is he gonna go in the second phase? Because there's no way I defeated first try. He's gonna go in the second phase, right? Yep, there it is. General of men, brother of the great sage mentor! I shall not betray my brother's trust! Well, this sucks because I used all of my potions to survive phase one. Yep, I knew he was gonna die. This kind of sucks. Now we die because I don't have any potions left. I'm dead. Yeah, this one's gonna take some doing, team. This one's gonna take some doing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Holy crap! You fought very well. Good job. Now, the village is safe. By my hand. Why are you? You shall die. Wait, what the hell? Did the old man take over me? Oh no, the old man showed up out of nowhere. <laughs> no water that's our, like our biggest enemy whenever you fall in water in these games you just die <laughs> you just get killed what do you mean This world is steeped in chaos. It needs one like you to bring peace to it. I cannot let you die. So wait, he didn't die. He saved this. Somehow. That was one hell of a first boss. By the way, you might have noticed that I was talking, but I, I'll probably mute the audio in the edit. Because I was actually chatting with Fighting Cowboy while I was doing attempts. <laughs> but anyway, team, that was the uh, first episode of Wolong. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the playthrough. If you are, make sure to hit the, the like button, subscribe, bell notification icon all of that jazz we struggled quite a bit with that boss let's see if we can do better in the next couple of ones but yeah they're starting the game off pretty friggin strong in terms of like difficulty i was surprised but anyway that's gonna be it thank you all very much for um watching i'll see you in the next one stay strong stay safe peace out